Nike Blazers are rich in history, being one of the oldest sneakers of Nike's lineup, releasing all the way back in 1973. This is one of Nike's first ever basketball sneakers, yet it's somehow a bit forgotten, being overshadowed by the likes of the Air Force One, SB Dunks, the Air Max 90s, and of course, Jordan 1s. These kicks still sell well, they even sell out. Hell, I just took a big fat L today on the sneakers app, Big surprise, but you're not really gonna hear many people recommending the Blazers as your first pickup or as an essential. And I think that should change because I love these sneakers. And I wanna recommend these to you, so we're gonna talk about how these sneakers came about. We're gonna break down the sneaker itself, and I'm gonna show you guys how I style these sneakers. Now real quick, I gotta let you know that this video is sponsored by ShopTagger, an app and Chrome extension that I believe is the best way to do online shopping as they ensure you never miss a price drop or coupon code. Just go ahead and click the link in the description. Now I think it's very important to know the history of these sneakers because there are a ton of models from Nike's other subdivisions and you do wanna know what you're getting into. So these, they are originally a basketball sneaker. I know, I didn't even know that at first. Most people probably became aware of these sneakers back in 2017 when Off-White and Nike collabed on the 10, which 2017 was a good time because the 10 did bring back some dying sneakers as well as revamp some popular ones. But yeah, this is one of Nike's first ever basketball sneakers releasing all the way back in 1973, making this an almost 50 year old sneaker that's still relevant to this day. Eventually with the rise in popularity of Jordans and Air Force Ones, the 90s was an insane time as the forces got nicknamed the Uptowns, plus nobody was wearing these on the courts anymore and was close to just disappearing in general. But with the Blazers having durable construction, a vulcanized sole, the Nike Blazers were eventually picked up by skaters. After some time of these kicks being skated and becoming popular in skate culture, that popularity turned the original Blazer into the more durable and reinforced Nike SB Blazer. Yada, 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 yada. You guys are probably wondering, yo, I don't skate, I don't really hoop. How are these still popular? Well, my friends, back in 2006, Supreme and Nike had a collaboration and they came out with the Supreme Blazers in three colorways and it's still a beautiful sneaker and is still very sought after. Bam, along with the Off-White collaboration in 2017, that's really a dumbed down version of how these sneakers got popular and stayed relevant. I definitely missed some points, so if you want a better rundown, definitely check out Nacho Average Finds. They have a great sneaker channel and they break down the history of plenty of sneakers, including the Blazers, and you should definitely check out that video. Now, like I said, there are different models that you gotta keep in mind. You got the classic Blazers, and you have the SB Blazers. SB standing for a uh, special breed. <laughs> there's mid tops, there's low tops, there's suede, there's leather. Whatever you prefer, there's probably a model for you to shop for. And just make sure if you're shopping for Blazers or shopping for anything, you tag your items with the sponsor of today's video, ShopTagger. So ShopTagger is the best way to do online shopping. I believe it's an essential online shopping tool that I've been using way before they even sponsored my channel. I've been using it for everything, all from tech to speed up my workflow, to plants for interior design, all the way to some skate stuff. If it wasn't for ShopTagger, I wouldn't have been able to pick up these Nike Lab ACG cargos. They sent me notifications for when these stocked back up. Definitely download the extension in the link below. I use Chrome, or you can get the mobile app on your phone and start checking out your favorite stores and tag some items. When you get to your store or item, this blue shop tagger button pops up and you can drag it up and down to navigate around the page. You can then click and save the item in your specific size. If it's out of stock, and restocks or there's any other price change, ShopTagger is going to send you an email or a push notification on your phone for whenever that specific item goes on sale or is back in stock. Like I said, it doesn't have to apply to clothes and this alone is gonna save you a ton of headache. And because it is the holiday season, I definitely recommend downloading the extension. That way you can start tagging some items. There's gonna be a ton of holiday deals and you wanna capitalize on that. And to make your shopping easier, you can create curated lists based off aesthetics, types of clothing, technology, skate stuff, that's what I got. Because aside from getting notified on sales for your items at checkout, you can just click a button to apply a list of coupon codes or capitalize on their cash back feature to save some money. But if you do wanna save as much money as possible, I definitely recommend getting the extension and the mobile app on your phone because the coupon code feature isn't available on mobile yet. So I do most of my browsing on mobile anyways, so I'll just end up tagging it on my phone. Then I'll head to my computer to use the coupon code feature. Definitely download the extension. Thank you ShopTagger for sponsoring this video and back to the regular scheduled programming. And now to the classic blazers. I like to think of these like super stylish bowling sneakers. Am I right? Am I right? Maybe your guys' memory is a little fuzzy since we haven't been to the bowling alleys uh, all year long. <laughs> or you could just see this as a super slimmed down version of the Jordan 1s with some extra detail. Now, since these are the only blazers that I have, we are gonna be breaking down this one as it's the classic silhouettes and most people are probably gonna buy this anyways. 
Um, I did for the past week. I've been trying to go to stores, calling stores to pick up some SB Blazers because I want to skate them and just so I can have it for the video. But no one had it. No one is selling SB Blazers in store for some reason. So uh, good luck with that. So just pick it up online. I hear a lot of good things about the Blazer Lows. I'll be skating those later on. So sorry about that. I'm only going to be styling these sneakers, but it's the main silhouette you want to pick up anyways. So the sneaker is pretty slim fitting. It's got a nice pattern along the outsole, giving it some pretty nice detailing. There's extra suede panels along the toe box, which is why skaters really dig these in the first place, as that's just extra durability for doing flip tricks. The leather is nothing special, just super smooth with little dotted imprints, which just makes it look more vintage, along with the Nike in a generic font, and the best part, the exposed foam tongue, which definitely just screams classic sneaker. And then a big fat swoosh along the side panels. This one is celestial blue because I thought why not since I always get the same white and black swoosh. Although these are the mids, they do go up just about as high as the Jordan 1 highs, so keep that in mind. I'll be honest with you, these sneakers are a pain in the ass to put on. Even Nike recommends you unlace the first four eyelets, but I'm gonna keep them laced high because I like that look. That's really the general format. Like I said, there's suede, there's lows, there's leather obviously. There's even this vintage one that's pretty dope and I would like to pick up, but they're out of stock. So I tagged it with Shop Tiger so they can notify me. From what I can tell, most SB Blazers just have more durable suede or leather. They're also a lot more lightweight and they do have a Zoom Air unit for better cushioning and impact protection. If I were you though, I would definitely avoid Blazers with a really tiny swoosh as the big swoosh is what makes it so iconic. But yeah, get the classic ones unless you skate, so you wanna go for the SB ones, but the classics, they aren't too shabby. Styling wise, I think these look awesome with denim, any kind, as well as cargo pants, of course. And I would say lean into that street look to really embrace these sneakers. Although feel free to branch off because that's what fashion is about. If you're on the tall side, these do look pretty good with shorts, but me being 5'7", I'm gonna stick to the lows. Other than those few pointers, I don't really wanna tell you how to dress because that's not really what fashion is about. So I'm gonna show you guys how I styled it and maybe you guys can take some inspiration. First fit is definitely one I'm skating in. Now, I don't have the SB versions, but it's whatever. In the 90s, they were skating these ones. I really like this fit because of the colors that we have going on and the leather jacket is worn in something other than skinny jeans and boots. I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I did and think that that's the only way you can rock a leather jacket. Clearly that is wrong. Anyways, of course the blazers are paired with these brown Nike SB Flex cargo pants, which are awesome. They're pretty flexible and in a straight cut fit and they are cut like normal pants, but do have these adjustable cuffs, which is pretty cool because you can cinch it or you can rock it like normal pants, cuff it if you want. You just gotta hide the laces. You've got plenty of options. And playing with the color palettes, I thought a cream hoodie would look nice with the pants because the sneakers are light and pastel feeling so I felt cream would follow that vibe as well. Then the good old leather jacket. Leather jackets and a cream hoodie always hits. It's my go-to. This one specifically was from Uniqlo. You can go to wherever you want. Obviously this is a cheaper alternative, fast fashion version. I'd like to get a nice high quality one in the future. And then I topped it off with this Nike golf hat. Pretty subtle, lightweight, even has a small Nike badging, which is a pretty cool detail. And it's a breathable hat. Easy fit for a sesh or to cruise around. I just take off my jacket whenever I I warm up. One of my favorite looks as a recent and I was able to step out of my comfort zone with leather jackets and styling them in a different way. Next up is something I think anyone can pull off as it's so simple. Blazers paired with black denim, but not jet black denim. I just recently got these from Express. Who you guys know is one of my favorite stores for denim. It is a slim cut washed black denim, so there is some fading to it. Instead of being jet black, which I felt complemented the sneakers. But also, you could throw on a more relaxed fitting one if that's your thing. I'm gonna do that as well because I like having options. Then I have this old denim jacket that's a brand called Luna Pierre or something like that. It's an old vintage jacket. It was my girl's grandpa's and I use it. I like the wash, I like the vintage feel and fit. So if you guys are looking for a denim jacket like this, it's easy to hit up Goodwill or something like that when things get better. Or you can hit up your grandpa, your dad, your uncle. I'm sure they have a denim jacket laying around. And then underneath that, I threw on a cream oversized shirt from Oray NYC, a necklace from Express as well, a Casio watch, a cuff, along with Oray's tote bag, and a maroon beanie from Amazon. This is a simple fall fit, and if it's the summertime, you could easily just take off the denim jacket, and the fit's still pretty nice. And yeah, I feel this fit is overall cohesive, simple, yet tasteful, and easy to throw on, which is my kind of vibe. And last but not least is an even more simple fit. I've gone on some light straight cut denim from Express. By the way, I'll leave links to everything I wore down below. Light denim and white sneakers are always a go-to for me. And I know you guys haven't seen me wear light denim in a while, so I thought it was a nice switch up. Then I threw on this Kith hoodie in a dusky mouth colorway. 
Really dig this color. I do not recommend paying $165 for a hoodie unless you really like the brand. There are cheaper alternatives out there and your wallet will thank you. And then an olive dad hat to top it off. Easy fits, just really wanted to play with muted colors on this one and I think it worked out. What was your guys' favorite fit? Let me know in the comments down below. This is how I would style blazers. You do you, I hope you found some inspiration. Those are just some pointers. Follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai, download Shop Tagger, and subscribe.